people I am back today and I wanted to give you guys a little hair tutorial um, I know I've done hair tutorials like curling my hair and everything but this is how I've been curling my hair lately with loose big waves just for the summertime because I feel like it's more of like a beachy loose wave vibe so um, in case you're wondering how I curl my hair I use this Numi wand. This is the 32 millimeters, so it's like the biggest one. I picked mine up from TJ Maxx. They actually had these on special. So, well, they weren't on special, but they were way cheaper than they sell them online. So I thought it was a really good deal. I got it for $25, and I was like, this is perfect, because I just walked in and it was there. Sorry, excuse my ratchet now. Um... I'll explain that later but yeah so that's how I, that, that's what I use to curl my hair um, I like to use some kind of heat styling um, heat protect protectant so when I blow dry my hair I use the pillow proof blow dry by Redken um, this is the express treatment primer and it's a time-saving blow dry primer with heat protection so when I use this it's already protecting my hair from heat and sometimes just to add shine I use the L'Oreal um, Paris Advanced Hair Care Extraordinary Oil Lustrous Oil Serum. Lustrous Oil Serum. Um, and it's just the gold one. Um, but I love this whole line of hair care. This one was sent to me by Influencer, but I did a separate video on that. And I love this oil. It just makes my hair look so shiny. Even on the days when I had just done the balayage, my hair sometimes dries out. So... Um, it gives me like issues sometimes so um, it looks all like ratty and dry this oil not only um, does it make my hair look shiny but it it's actually made my hair a lot healthier and it protects it from any heat damage so I really like like that oil and then um, I also like to go in with a little bit even if my hair is clean I like to go in with a little bit of the bad Batiste um, dry shampoo. This is the clean and classic original. I like this one and I also like the floral and fun or fun and floral or flirty or something. It's like a pink bottle but I just love this dry shampoo. It does kind of leave a white cast but you have to really rub it in and that's why in the beginning I was like really going to town on my head because um, it's important to rub it in just so that you don't have that white cast in your hair. And that's it. I don't spray it with hairspray or anything or texturizing spray. But if you're interested in seeing how I curl my hair, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm starting off by spraying some Batiste dry shampoo throughout my hair. So I just start sectioning my hair off like randomly and I start spraying it on my roots I just go crazy I'm like a wild person when I apply dry shampoo so I just keep letting it sit so I spray the sections that I want and be careful don't get it in your eyes because it burns <laughs> and like I said this shampoo leaves a white cast if you don't rub it in correctly so you have to really go to town um, I felt really naked so I put a shirt on <laughs> after this um, clip but yeah so yeah I'm just spraying all the sections that I think feel the greasiest because the bottom of my hair doesn't really get greasy and now you just go to town shake your hair out and make sure you're rubbing your scalp as if you were washing your hair in the shower obviously I don't flip my hair like this but I do go to town on my head with shampoo if you see any white cast just keep rubbing it'll eventually go away sometimes even if you just let it sit there and then rub again and comb your hair out then it'll go away so I start dividing my hair um, I like to go halfway and then I make it into a bun and tie it off with a hair tie after that, I just separate the bottom piece in half and then I start curling whatever side I feel like curling. I'll brush it out sometimes. Sometimes I just go with it. <laughs> and then I like to sing a little bit and get all into it. Grabbing a one inch section, I hold the curling wand upwards. Um, sometimes my hair tends to slip. If you're not used to this, it'll take a little bit, but I don't know why it was slipping on this day. I just was not having a good grip. And I curl it towards my face because when you put that curl down, it'll be away from my face. Do you see that? So if you want your curls to be away from your face, then you have to hold your curling one upwards 
and curl towards your face so that when you put it down it'll your hair will be away from your face I like to hold the curl for about five to seven seconds maybe and then let it go and you're going to keep repeating those steps until you finish that bottom section you're going to wrap it towards your face and hold the curling wand with your I hold it with my right hand because my right hand is my stronger one and that's I'm right-handed so it's easier for me so with my left hand it's easier for me to wrap the hair which is why my hair slips out of my hand sometimes but it's easier for me this way you can work with it the way you want but usually it helps to use your stronger hand or the hand that you're used to to hold the wand with that way you have more control of the wand because if you hold it with your weaker hand then your hand's going to slip a lot and you might burn yourself more so it takes some getting used to but i had to hold the wand with my left hand just to switch over to the other side but you're going to do the same steps just curl towards your face and then when you let it down the hair will be away from your face and you're just going to keep repeating these steps the same way that you did on the other side but this time holding the wand with the opposite hand and like i said it takes some getting used to i burned myself a few times when i first started doing this but it's not so hard we can all do it if i can do it you can do it <laughs> and just keep repeating the same steps over and over now when you get to the top part top half of the hair you're going to hold the curling wand downwards and wrap your hair as if you were curling your hair with a regular curling iron and you're going to wrap it away from your face um, because now since it's the right way your hair will fall the way that you start curling it so if you want it to be away from your face and not towards your face you're going to wrap away from your face and i know this is bad but i always hold my hair that i'm trying to keep away if i don't have a clip around or if maybe sometimes i do i just don't want to use it i hold my hair with my mouth which is kind of weird i mean i don't get drool all over it or anything but still you know a mouth is a mouth and don't worry if i use my curling iron on clients i sanitize them if you guys are interested in how to sanitize hair tools or makeup or anything just leave me a comment and i'll make a video for you guys um but yeah i just start curling these parts away from my face and i kind of hold them higher up so that when i'm curling it gives me a little bit of volume as well and when i switch over to the other side i just switch the wand to the opposite hand and then i do the same thing just curl away from the face so once you get the last curl going um i just like to let my hair cool down for like a quick minute or two um i just shake it around make sure it cools down and then i start top tossing it around is that how you say it T playing around with it separating it with my fingers i don't run a brush through it because i don't want the curls to fall out too fast but with my fingers shaking it like that it also gives it more volume and just rubbing out the rest of the dry shampoo that's in there and see how thick and voluminous it looks it's so beautiful i love curling my hair like this and i hope you guys enjoyed it Okay, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if, you, if you're interested in everything that I used, I will leave everything in the description box just, you know, so you guys can see what everything is called. And if I find links to it, I will link it. If you guys are interested in being friends with me on the social interweb, then go ahead and look in the description box. All of my social media is down there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Stay fab. Okay. Looking like Saggy Sally over here. But this oil has 